In this video, we're going to investigate y is equal to 2 f of x and y equals a third f of x. Now, remember that that f of x represents the height of the curve, the y coordinates of each of the points. So, what we've got here is something that is taking the y coordinate of each of the points and doubling it. So, when we look at um, this point here, 0, 0, so when x is 0, f of 0 is 0, then 2 lots of 0 is just 0. Okay, so it is still going through the origin. So if we draw in a, some guidelines here to help us with the sketch, okay, then if this is 1, that's 2, minus 1, minus 2. What's going to happen is that when x is 90, f of 90 is 1, so 2 lots of 1 is 2. So the curve will go through 2. And so the curve, as you work your way through those points, will look like this. So it looks like the ordinary sine curve, but my scale is different. The vertical scale is different here. So that's 90, that's 180, that's 270, that's 360. So it still goes through the same x-coordinates, but the y-coordinates um, have all doubled, okay, because it's going through 2 and minus 2 rather than 1 and minus 1. So if I've got a third f of x, then it makes sense that when I'm sketching this, that all those points that I've been substituting in, um, the y-coordinate will be a third of what it originally was. So the curve will look something like this. So it'll still have the same shape, but it'll be squashed down because it will be going between minus a third and a third now. All the x-coordinates will be the same. OK. So... We could say that if y equals f of x is transformed to y equals k f of x, where k is a constant multiplier, then we can describe this as a stretch parallel to the y-axis by factor k. So whatever number is in front of the f of x, that tells you how much it's been stretched by in the y direction. So if uh, you have a 3 in front of the f of x, then all of the y coordinates have tripled. Okay? And that's how we can deal with that type of transformation.